For those that are looking for me to expand on this weekend, not gonna. I already said what I needed to say. I don't give a fuck about this guy. That's it. So I kind of seen this happening, um, and I'll show you here in a moment. Um, to Dr. Disrespect, this is in regards to what we talked about yesterday uh, in regards to Dr. Disrespect. As you guys know, uh, it's currently in some drama where a former Twitch staff basically accused him of sexting a minor, and that's what got him banned. Uh, there's no real evidence yet. Nothing's come out. There has been a couple statements from the doc. One was pretty tone deaf, and the other one, we'll pull it up here in a moment, um, uh, done a little bit better. And I was saying yesterday um, that when you have Keemstar uh, trying to be the beacon of morality, then uh, something fucked up's going on. Now, I, I don't want to dive in, and I'm not going to dive in, uh, like most people do on X. Uh, we are... Uh, on this platform and a lot of social media platforms are basically the court of public opinion is you're guilty until you are found guilty. Um, because here's the thing. If he comes back, this is all fake and this is wrong. Uh, those people that still are his detractors that wanted him to be banned in the first place are still going to use that and call him guilty for it anyways. So there's no real winning for the people that's already had their minds made up. Um, probably since Dr. Disrespect was even born. I'm saying that. That's satire. <laughs> um, it's crazy. It's crazy because one of the things that came out just, just a while ago, actually, uh, well, by the time you guys see it, it's going to be old news. Um, one of the companies he works for, and he's making a game with, uh, that would be Midnight Society, is breaking ties with Doc. Now, it's right here. It came out from Dixerto. Uh, we are terminating our relationship with Guy Beam. That is Dr. Disrespect uh, immediately. Uh, Dr. Doctor Disrespect's game studio, Midnight Society, is parting ways with him after the allegations about his Twitch ban surface. Now, this we've seen this happen a lot. Uh, before the evidence is presented, before there's a guilty verdict applied to uh, said individual, uh, cancel culture has, again, already made up its mind. Uh, and when you have backlash like that and you are a big company that's backing somebody like that, the last thing you want to do is have some uh, of their ire aimed toward your company. Um, and a lot of these people, a lot of these uh, studios, these uh, uh, TV shows, these movies, uh, some other places like your jobs and stuff like that, they'll get rid of you uh, even before uh, the evidence and the truth comes out, which is sucks. It sucks. Uh, this is really bad. This is really bad. Um, I think it's too, was too early. And like I said, this just came out, um, around 4 55 PM from Dixerto. Um, and a lot of people are already, already, already celebrating this. Um, I was actually watching the act man when he pulled up the, uh, tweet from the dick bag. Um, I'm not going to say he's a dickbag. Here's the thing. If he's telling the truth, if, he, if he's telling the truth, then good for him. I'm not going to call him a dickbag yet. But right now, like in my mind, I'm just thinking, well, this guy doesn't have any evidence. And when he posts shit like this, and I got this from the... <laughs> Helps if I hit the right button. Uh, Cody Connors was the Twitch staff that actually released this. So one of the things he did October 31st of 2023, uh, he was in a band. And basically what he was trying to do is sell tickets and try to sell out. And if he sold out the tickets, he was going to tell um, why he got banned. But he didn't say him by name, but we know who he was talking about because... He was the biggest name in streaming service on Twitch. Like, he was the man. He got banned. That's the biggest ban that's ever happened. Um, and this dick bag was trying to grift off of it by trying to prop up his band to get more attention, which I think that's really fucking stupid. And here's the thing, too. If this is accurate, if this is true, if the truth and there's evidence and it comes out that this is true, then shame on Dr. Disrespect and fuck him right don't talk to the fucking kids don't do it don't do it don't do that um but if this is a lie if this is a big lie um this is going to paint well actually two different ways if it's a win and a win or a lie and a lie 
uh, Twitch uh, is going to be coming under cover for trying to cover this up. Um, and this guy, this guy is going to get sued to oblivion uh, by Dr. Disrespect Lawyers. Um, I'm having a feeling that we're going to start seeing more and more of this as we go on. There's probably going to be more people that actually um, gets off uh, from sponsoring him. He'll probably lose his platform on YouTube. Um, and, you know, people, like I said, they already have it in their minds that Dr. Disrespect for sure is a pedophile. And like I said, those type of allegations... Um, can ruin a man's life. You can ruin your career. Can ruin everything. And this fucking terrible thing. It's a terrible uh, thing that happened to Pro Jared just a few years ago. If you guys don't remember, Pro Jared uh, had his controversy, and already as soon as it came out, there was basically a mob of people, including H three H three, that went after this man. When it came out later on that this stuff was all false. The damage is already done. Uh, I don't see Pro Jared make that much content anymore. Um, I don't hear anybody talking about him. I don't think his relevance is there anymore because it destroyed him. And still in the public court of opinion, he done it. Um, it's never going to change. Never going to change with these people. The, basically, if you, they don't like you, if your opinion is different from them, um, you're a target. You're a target. Good, thing, good example, Nick Merckx. Uh, he has a... Um, so he said something wrong about trans people. Um, I don't really condone it, but you know, it's his opinion. He can say whatever he wants, but they're already after him. And so did Dr. Disrespect. He has his words. He said about that community. Um, but as soon as you say these things, they cancel you. Um, and whenever they come out, these allegations are wrong. There's no apologies. These people lost their sponsors. These people lost, uh, everything. One of the things that really, really got me though, um, really funny. So I'm not attacking, Tim Dog, I'm not attacking you on this. This actually came from Drama Alert. Uh, Chris Anson. So you guys heard of Cameo, right? It's basically a service where you could pay sometimes like an actor or a voice actor or I don't know, somebody to come in and make a video and you tell them what to say, you pay them a fee, they make the video and then you send it. So somebody did this with Chris Hansen and Drama Alert actually released this. Uh, it's actually kind of funny. It's kind of funny, but it's also a lot of people are taking this serious. Um, they think this is actually a legit thing. And when this all this is, is a paid cameo. Hello, Doc. Chris Hansen here of Hansen vs. Predators to catch a predator. Have a seat with Chris Hansen. My streaming crime network. True Blue, all the rest. Now, Doc, I'm going to need you to have a seat right over there. I've been going through some of the transcripts of your online behavior, and I'm curious as to why you're so into Whisper. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should just put it out there for everyone to hype you up. But don't end up in one of my dark kitchens for an interrogation. Do you understand me? In the meantime, I'll be watching, so stay safe, stay healthy, and So, yeah, a lot of people have actually seen this, and they actually thought this was legitimately Chris Anson going after Dr. Disrespect. Um, they find out that is from Cameo. It is a Cameo video. I think there's a watermark. Yeah, actually, there is a watermark here that does show that. That way, that way you, you assholes, it's automatic. It's like, it's real. It's right here. This is Cameo. This is a Cameo video by uh, Chris Anson. So it's a, that's that's not a real thing. It's just it is what it is. Somebody paid him to say that, and it is what it is. Um, again, I I think that um, you know whatever sponsors he has, uh, maybe instead of completely parting ways with these people, maybe putting their partnership on pause until this shit comes out. Because here's the thing: I don't know the legality of this. So say if they cut completely cut ties and. Dr. Disrespect was in the right. Um, I don't know how that works uh, from a legal standpoint. I don't know if he could sue that sponsor. Uh, there will probably be some defamation, defamation lawsuits for sure, um, I believe. I think um, if, you know, like I said, if this shit's uh, not accurate, if this is all just a ploy for uh, the memes or to destroy somebody they don't like, 
Um, obviously, obviously, it's uh, bad either way you look at it. There's no winners here. No winners here. Um, especially uh, how social media works these days. Um, so hopefully, and like I said, I'm in the camp of wait until the truth comes out. Wait for the evidence before casting judgment. Um, it's, it's a scary thing to do to somebody. Scary thing. Uh, happened in a lot of movements, uh, especially on the political side, um, stuff like that. So I don't know. I don't know. It maybe maybe this there's some merit to this. Maybe something will happen. Um, I'll keep uh, talking about it and give you more information as it comes. I'll talk to you later, guys. So while editing this video and getting it ready for upload, uh, something else happened. I figure I'd just go ahead and get you on this. Uh, I'm pulling this from Asman Gold's um, YouTube channel here. I'll put a link in the description with this video. Um, so basically what's going on here, I'm going to put something at the beginning. It's going to be uh, where Doc talks about, opens up about what happened over the weekend. And at the end here, you're going to see how he might, this might be, don't know for sure, uh, this is a hint uh, that he is stepping away from streaming. So I don't really know what that means. I don't know what that means. I don't know what's coming. Um, but things are getting really, really hot as we speak. And it's going to be really, really um, interesting to see what happens uh, with this from now on out. Now, I don't know uh, who's going to step in first and tell the truth. I don't know if Dr. Disrespect is going to be found out to be whatever they're saying he is. But um, a lot of this is um, boiling, it's coming to a boiling point, and I don't know where it's going to end. So hopefully, hopefully we find out soon, because this is a big deal. This is a really big deal. So here's this clip. <sighs> but I think the first and foremost, though, and is, you know, I did have a sort of a planned vacation coming up and i think i might just extend that starting today starting now <laughs> and to be honest i don't know how long you know i i, I know where my vacation the how long my vacation is but you know i think more importantly we need to step away i think i when i say step away i think i mean i'm gonna have to either have to relay this to the midnight society but i you know maybe i step away from there too just completely remove myself from the scene it's what i need to do I, right take all the time you need says layer cake i appreciate that i appreciate that i'm telling you it's fatigue it's tired it's wanting to just kind of move away from the limelight ultimately that's what it's about i mean shit there's 50 million other streamers you can watch right now it's time to drive into the sunset says swerving Oof, man i like your style it might be time to drive in the sunset, champs. I appreciate all of you. Please do me a favor. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your week. And we'll see you soon.